All right. Well, that fires up. Get two minutes for round starts. So we've got about 100 people in here so far. Might as well run over here and toss up what we're, what we're playing this morning while we wait. God, Moto's already beat me this morning. Uh, probably be a little less interaction during this stream. I will be um, probably playing a little more. That's what I've got this right here, this Grishel brand. We'll, we'll jump into probably, I don't see how many play points I've got. I have 80 play points. I'll probably jump into a casual league because then it's not going to feel as bad if I have to, like, get um, leave games to get back to this, to the uh, challenge. So that's probably what I'll do. Well, we got 36 seconds. What do we got clicked off here? TBR done. I think this is right. Oh, I've got to change some of these. Oh, this deck list isn't right. That sucks. There's only two differences, but like there's no denial and there's no ranger. And then there's no disdainful stroke and then no ranger, but I've got the rest of it is all right. <clears throat> Allman, don't recognize name, we're on the draw. We already messed up once this game, we're on the draw, but well, what are you going to do? Well, apparently my opponent is not here. It's kind of a gloomy day in Washington, D.C. Well, there's a little bit of snow, I guess. All right, they have joined the game. But it all said I joined the game, so I don't, I don't know what's happening. Might as well get into my other league so we don't have to worry about that. Get in here with the Grishel brand, just so that we're in, and all we have to do is just jump over. All right, we're gonna mulligan this hand here. We, I really don't like keeping four landers. I mean, if my opponent mulligans, I will think about it, but just keeping four landers is, is just like not really what this deck likes to do. And also, we're only halfway to Delirium, so like this card is kind of a mulligan. So, we'll definitely throw this one back, probably regardless of whatever my opponent does. <sighs> if 
opponent's thinking about it. Come on. Come on. I'm going to load all these up to YouTube as well after we're done. Probably do it by rounds and then do the Gristle brand matches by rounds as well because I'll be jumping back and forth. I don't need to do a stream of the modern challenge and anything else. Gosh, all right, I guess we'll put the deck back up. TBR and while we're waiting for our opponent. Hopefully they make a play here. Come on. Ugh. Yeah, so we're just currently in a bit of a holding pattern, waiting for our opponent to, to get in, get into the stream here, get in, start playing. So hopefully they don't waste all of my time. Hopefully they're not looking for my stream also. But what are you going to do? Yeah, so this is what we're playing today. This is what I'm also kind of excited to play. I've enjoyed playing this deck. It's just a bit of a different, a different take on what I usually do in Modern. So the deck's not quite perfect. Like, I think that... I need uh, I need two chalices in my sideboard, but that wasn't um, you know wasn't quite working with the uh, with uh, gosh I can't even think with the subscription I had a total amount, so I needed to make sure that um, that I stayed under that amount. Gosh, well, I mean if my opponent times out, then I guess we win. But I could have started a match with this. Feels bad. Just waiting here, which kind of sucks. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday, at least. Oh, we have priority. Well, we keep, so we'll ship this. And we'll keep this. It's not much better, but that's a removal spell. Probably put this on top. If we have to interact before turn three. Nope, now I wish I hadn't put that on top. All right, we'll go here because we don't know what we want to fetch with this because we might get spreading seized. Definitely not excited to play against Celestial Colonnade, and it's the blue white version, which this is just. An absolutely atrocious matchup. We'll take the search. At least my opponent's pretty far away from casting this cryptic command. This is a rough first round pairing for sure, though. So they cast the Serial Visions. So I guess the way we win this is we land this Liliana, and then we put a card on the top top. So I'm assuming they, they've got some lands. I'm going to do this right now because we might draw a stub. One, two. It's going to give us Delirium, so I guess I'll keep that on top. And then if my opponent goes to play anything here, I'll fetch out a blue source and then cycle this. So they did have an island, okay. Mm, 
I guess we'll fetch now. Just to do it. Uh, we'll start with this. Yeah, so we do another one. I'm just going to jam this Liliana. Tick it up. Ditch this team or battle rage. And then bobble my opponent. Yeah, so they had a negate. That's pretty saucy. So we know three out of their four. And then we can figure out the last card they kept on top here. Worst case scenario, it's like a Jace or a Planeswalker. It's a Singer Visions. Okay. All right, so they're going to sit behind Cryptic Command. I guess we'll start here. I assume they let this resolve. They do all take the path. And then... Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the path to exile, and then we're just going to just going to pass. Well, I guess, so he's going to be able to cryptic me next turn, but he can't, like, cryptic and serum visions. Uh, not much, Archmage. We're in the wrong side of a bad matchup at the moment. So he's going to cryptic this. I really want to hold this Death Shadow until I can find a way to protect it with a stub or a threat. My opponent's not going to Serum Visions next turn and Chaos Cryptic. I don't really have anything going on. I really just want to hold this until I can either like play this and a Goyf. Because he's going to use this anyways. And then I can kind of sink his mana. Yeah, I think we're just going to pass. Yep. Yeah, we are we are stuck between a rock and a hard place for sure. It gets a little better after sideboard, but it's still just not good. This field of ruins is gonna be a beating. So they do serum vision, so they're gonna give up on the cryptic command. So this means that I might be able to sneak in like a so I went bottom, bottom. There's a chance that I can sneak a Death Shadow in if I draw like a discard spell or a counter spell or something like that. Maybe they might have snap negate, that might be what they're doing. Alright, let's take a look. That's a good draw. Mana like this, okay. Now, then I'll play a Death Shadow. And hopefully they didn't draw like another thing here, like a path or something. Oh yeah, I mean, we're, we're stuck between a rock and a hard place for sure. Spreading seas, okay. So opponent's got Cryptic Command up, okay? Well, right after we draw, we get rid of our green source. I mean, it's not like it was resolving anyways, but a guy can hope. So again, we'll just pass. There's not a lot going on right now. But that's the nature of this matchup. All right, that's, that's fine, because we only play one, the only red spell in our deck is Team of Battle Rage, and like the odds of that actually being good at some point in this game was pretty low. Why is my Team of Battle Rage dark? So we've got Cryptic X. <clears throat> Alright, so now we're going to get in here. Fetch before damage. Yeah, so I, I am conscious of that play. I would like to, I think I would like to use it um, as sort of a surprise. So I counter, do I cast this Tarmogoyf? Probably. I mean, we know this is going to get cryptic in, but at least he can't go like, if he goes cryptic, bounce my shadow, then I can replay it. Wow. Oh, so he's got a verdict. That sucks. 
Yeah, that sucks. Cause now we're gonna get crypt. Now we're gonna get verdicted here. There's the field ruins. Yep. And he still has cryptic. So we are stuck between a rock and a heart. We need like a discard spell. Well. I guess we cast this. No, might as well wait. Try to find a discard spell. At least it's gonna be difficult for my opponent to kill us. So we're gonna have like we like the only the only thing that we we really can't be I can't believe they didn't cycle this. The only thing that like we're really worried about is a planeswalker. As long as my opponent doesn't play a planeswalker, I've got a chance. But as soon as they drop a planeswalker to start getting any kind of incremental advantage. Nice thing is that we can dismember the planeswalker. If it's a Gideon, either Gideon, we can dismember it. Okay, so that's a pretty good draw. Again, all we need now is a discard spell. If we get a discard spell, then we can protect our threat now with the Stubborn Denial. Probably going to concede to like a rev or what we got here. We got a rev for four. All right, well, let him draw, I guess. I guess I said I was going to concede, but I might as well try to play it out. Yep, you got it, man. We're going to hold on to this fetch land because it's going to be our last green source because he'll field of ruin it once I get it in play. All right, bait the first spell. So do we just traverse for another death shadow and then just kind of scoop it up? Because then we can kill him next turn. I mean, it's pretty wishful thinking. I think I probably just make the play here. Like, it's not getting any better for us. We can still dismember our colonnade. Can't activate both of them. I guess a one, two, three. This takes what? Five lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess with one more land, he can double colonnade us. But like, we're not beating a lot here. And we, you know, we mulliganed, like, mulliganed, and he had the negate for the Liliana, which is like our, our game plan was that. Snapcaster Verdict, probably. Yeah, we are good now. Okay. Sad. All right, so here we're going to bring in the white cards because they are better than most of our cards here. We're going to cut the rages. We're going to play... Bring a last hope. Cut the blood crypt. Sort by converted man. Bring in the last stub. And then cut some number of removal. Cut these dismember. Cut the dismember. The pushes. And cut probably one more card. Probably another push or a discard spell. I don't want to get too flooded on discard spells. Like, the Inquisition's especially not super great because most of the things that we care about cost more than four. So I think I'll cut these. I'd like to have two removal spells to be able to hit colonnades. Well, actually, I'm bringing in Lingering Souls, so let's just get rid of these here and keep the discard spell. The Ks are good. They've got uh, Gideon, Search, Rest in Peace, and Detention Sphere. So we want, we want, we want the Gideons... For sure, or want the uh, decays for sure. 
I think we're going to have to grind it back. I mean, I think, I legitimately think this is probably the worst matchup in the format for Death Shadow. Like, this deck just, it was kind of made, like, it, it got good when Death Shadow got good. Sorry about this. I thought it's taking a while. I mean, they were also slow getting to getting to the uh, whatever it is, getting to the match. So. Come on. Oh, maybe my opponent will time out. You never know. We need to be careful to like. Actually, now that I think about it, I want to. I want to ditch one of these and bring one of these in because this hits all the four drops, and it's also a way to have another outlet for lingering souls. Oh, I didn't submit. I was talking. Yeah, the brutality is better than Inquisition. So, like, no, we can't keep this again. We can keep this. I mean, we got threats. I guess we put this on top so we can make sure to hit our Liliana. Then we'll play Tarmogoyf on two, and we'll hopefully just kind of curve out. We've got planes on top. All right, that's not bad. So let's go... I'm going to get Overgrown Tomb and then Breeding Pool. Oh. Yeah, I guess, well, I guess I'll get over. Nah, what do I want to get? Because I want to, I don't want to get this Godless Shrine until I have to. So I guess I'll just get Breeding Pool. Play this little guy. Hey Gary, how's it going? So I think I just Inquisition and then jam this Death Shadow instead of just running this Liliana into a Negate or a Mana Leak. That just doesn't seem like what I want to be doing. Come on. Again, if they pass this, we're all right with it. We just need this Liliana to, to stick. This is this is the only this is probably the only way we win this game. So yeah, we get passed. We're gonna take this Gideon and leave my opponent with this surgical. I guess we're going to get the godless round now just to have it. Oh, no, I shouldn't have done that because I can just get it with this fetch land in my hand. That was a mistake. Wow, they're going out west. Well, I guess Channel Fireball is doing all of them now. So, I mean, we're in kind of an all right. Oh, he drew a field of ruin. That's so bad. So we know this is resolving. We'll ditch the we'll ditch this delta. We'll keep the decay for like and whatever he uses to answer these. Though it does feel kind of mopey only attacking my opponent for two. I guess we're going to keep this because this is only going to work if he draws 
pretty specifically what we um you have to draw like a specific thing for it and i think i'd rather just increase the clock here i guess overgrown tomb is probably better to get him to incentivize to hit my green source i would much rather or my blue source here instead of this one i would much rather get a like a i'd much rather get another blue source but i want to expose this to hopefully he takes out this land here not yeah so that's what i that's what i would rather have him do take out the counter spell and the lingering souls Pass priority. What are you going to play there, Gary? Play the planes. Okay. So we're a little punished there, but I mean, we're going to take this up anyways. It's a team I can see, I think. Oh, okay. It's in Santa Clara, right? Pulmonary Ditch is surgical. Card is awful to bring in in fair matchups, but like. So it does kind of suck that we're not going to be able to ult this Lily, but. I guess we'll take out, we don't want to get this bounced by a cryptic command or him bounce this death shadow and get rid of our, um, get rid of our death shadow to the Liliana's ability. All right. Other that or Santa, there or San Jose. I thought you were done with magic there. Yeah, so they had the cryptic. So they play the planes. Damn it. So either way, we get two draw steps. Yeah, we're just going to cycle this. I think I'm dead anyways to this. We'll see if the opponent goes for it. Field of Ruin. They plus. Really. Surprised they didn't go for it. They knew my hand. They knew I was dead. Wow. My opponent's going to give me a chance here. All right, don't draw. Don't, don't top deck me. I am, but one can still reminisce. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so they strip mine me. This is okay because we can still cast Lingering Souls if we draw it. Play this. Go like this. Tick up. Attack Gideon. Let me see if I can go attack Gideon. Okay. He did plus on it. Attack Gideon. And then we'll bobble our opponent in their upkeep. No, we can't even because of the ley line. Okay. And then, like, just miss for a turn. Yeah, unreal. My opponent had me beat there, right? Like, I'm not crazy. They just didn't go for it. 
Um, yeah, so like I said, I think I want both of these brutalities over the Inquisitions. The Inquisitions just aren't great. They don't hit what you want. I do think I'm going to bring this Dismember in and cut a Fatal Push because this Dismember can kill a Gideon in a pinch. So I shouldn't have boarded that out. So we'll just run it back here. Ten viewers, guys. I hope everyone's having a good, good morning. I'm going to probably be talking less than I usually do. I'll look to talk more in between when we move over to play like this. In between rounds. I queued up into a casual league, so with this. I wanted to do a casual league just because I could like quit matches if I had to and then not feel bad. Because you still get something. Even if you go 05, you get something back. The best morning. Morning is great. Good to see you here there. There, Nathan. You'll be able to tell me how to sideboard. How to play this huge pile of garbage. I am excited. So I've actually had some fun playing this deck. Like, it's just like, I, I've, you get some matchups where it's you're like, you're just, your opponent's just helpless. Literally can't do anything. Like, it just doesn't matter what they do. Like, they just can't interact, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool to just sit down and get those free wins. I haven't played a Death Shadow deck with it, so I don't know what that's like. But my my heart tells me that it could not be good. I think I want another one of these. I've been playing this a little while, and I think I want a second one of these. Because being able to filter to black man is kind of important. Duzin. Thank you for the high. Gosh. We're going to mulligan in each game. No, that's actually a pretty good hand. We don't want to land. Okay. I think at least we're going to be able to lead off with a thought seize, which is good. We have a dismember to deal with something. So I do want to draw another land, so I'm going to go like this. It's pretty good. Probably get Watery Grave with this, because I would rather have him spread and seize this than a uh, Overgrown Tomb. I think I'm just going to take this Cryptic, because, well, no, I'm going to take Gideon. Well, then this leaves my Dismember not doing anything. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the Cryptic and try to see if I can get to a place where I can either stub this or dismember it. My opponent is got has a lot of... has got Field of Ruin, which is a combo against my deck. Because I don't play that many basics. This turns on stub, which is nice. And then we're gonna be able to follow up the lingering souls. So like, we do have a we do have a good draw here. So let's get an overgrown tomb. Let's cast ourselves a death shadow. And if they try to remove this, I think I'm gonna stub it to keep this in play. I am where I am. This is game three of the first round. Island, opponent's going to jam, we will stub, so I think I actually like just traver uh, not traversing this turn, just casting Lingering Souls, oh thank you very much for the, for the help, we'll just get this Lingering Souls into play now, because I have a feeling that my opponent's probably got some way to deal with this Death Shadow. So I don't really want to go double Death Shadow. I want to be able to follow that up. So 
Cycle this. Wow. All right. So we beat one of our worst matchups. So let me go back into here. We'll jump into Grishel Brand. Yeah, I was impressed. They just didn't have it. So let me go stop.